causing trouble nearby. Where in tarnation they go? I gotta find him before it's too late. I rode over as fast as night wind could carry me when I heard the living totem has returned. Never thought I'd see the day after watching him fall into the bottomless canyon. So far, I ain't seen hide no hair of him, but I reckon he'll be on his way to finish what he started all them years ago and destroy the town. We can't give him the chance. We gotta stop him. I owe you, stranger. Come on, let's get to searching. Now remember, be on your guard. The senior run of the mill totem we're dealing with. It's a living totem. Them fellas over yonder look mighty suspicious. What are they up to? That's the totem! I'd recognize that half-buried mug anywhere. Hey! This is our giant head! Anyone other than the Kree who tries to approach it will answer to us. Y'all best step aside. That thing is more trouble than you can imagine. Don't say I didn't warn you. I've been itching for a good fight. Come on, compadre. Let's take these warmongers down a peg. Ha! Turns out camping out by the head, picking fights with outsiders that came near was a good idea. Guess I owe Travlar that sandwich. These fellas seem prepared to go all out with the totem. He must have used some kind of mind controlling powers. As soon as I heard, fighting at the old head, I'm in. We gotta keep whittling down the totem's army. Figure that's the last of them. Now we can finally take care of the totem himself. Hold up, this is just the head of them floating Cree statues, ain't it? Well, this is embarrassing. But if the totem ain't here, well, where is he? Huh. I appreciate your help, but it looks like I got a little too hot-headed for my own good today. I'm gonna take a step back and try to figure this out. Hmm. Maybe that Red Wolf fella could help me. He's always been pretty good at tracking folk down. Red Wolf has been expecting you. You are a friend of the Rawhide Kid, are you not? Red Wolf knows why you are here. The location of the Living Totem eludes you and the Kid, but I sense his presence somewhere in this town, and I know what you must do to learn of his dwelling place. You must listen to the whispers of the wind, the rumors from the rivers, the murmurings of the mountain, Oh, and the people probably know a few things, too. <laughs> Ask around, and we will surely learn where the totem makes his lair. Then it is settled. Speak with the townsfolk and take heed their words, for in them will... Reckon there's something in the water lately, as I could have sworn I saw this big pole with a face on it walking around the other day. And it gets stranger. Soon as he noticed I'd seen him, he put on this big old coat and scurried off. I wonder where he went to. Kang. Have you learned anything of the totem? 
Y'all just there for decorate? There's a real peculiar type spending most his days at the saloon of late. Tall fella, wears a big coat all the time. Reckon there's only one reason person wear a coat that big. Something to hide. Or, cause he's cold. So, two reasons, I guess. I hear they're getting some fancy new modern entertainment over at the saloon. Ask me. So far, I've learned nothing from the wind or the mountain. So, what knowledge did you bring? The saloon. If we knew who occupied the large coat, this information could be useful. That indeed sounds like the totem. We need only to learn of where he goes. It would appear we have learned enough. The totem has been donning a disguise and spending an inordinate amount of time in the local saloon. Hmm. But to what end? Of course, the answer to this question would most easily be discovered at the saloon itself. I shall reconvene with Rawhide Kid and the two of us will pursue the totem. But of course, I must first thank you for all your help. Gwenpool's disembodied voice here! Your heroic deeds have unlocked one of my incredible Gwenpool missions! Go find it! You have done much for Rawhide and myself. As soon as he returns, the two of us will go after the totem. Wow.